Today we're going to be making some baking, some goods. This is really just a test, so there's my oven. Hi guys! So today we're going to be making and baking some cookies. It is really, really cold here in Orlando, Florida. Um, and I actually have a cold today, so I'm sorry if I have to blow my nose halfway through. Maybe I'll cut that out. Um, but I just wanted something kind of warm and gooey and that kind of reminded me of cold weather. And I think that like fire and being by a fireplace would be perfect with some s'mores. So we're making s'mores cookies today. I don't have a fire or a fireplace because like I said, Orlando, Florida, you know, doesn't get cold here that often. But I figured this would be some comfort food that would make me feel a little better and help me appreciate the cold weather a little bit. So, let's get started. This is so easy, by the way. And this isn't a tra traditional chocolate chip cookie or cookie recipe. It's made with cake mix, so it's more fluffy and doughy and chewy. So if you're into that kind of a cookie, this is the one for you. If not, if you're into like crunchy cookies, you can bake them a little longer to make them more crunchy, but typically the goodness of this is that it's gooey in the middle. So yeah, we want to start off with a box of your favorite chocolate like cake mix, and then you're going to need two eggs. You're going to need the wonderful filling of marshmallows. Three fourths a cup of graham crackers. I chose to get the Teddy Graham ones because, I mean, they're cute. Why wouldn't you? So, and then you're going to need a Ziploc bag to crush them in and something to crush them with. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and some oil, obviously. So, let's, let's blend it all up. First, we're going to do the oil and the eggs and the baking mix. Um, and then we'll crush these cute little teddy bears. This kind of like disturbing, isn't it? Now that I think about it, we have to crush the cute little teddy bears. Oh well. Um, if that disturbs you, we'll just have to leave the channel for a little while. Um, and then we'll put in the marshmallows and scoop them in. We'll blend everything and voila. So let's get started. So first we're gonna put in the oil. Half a cup of oil. With the mix. be a good one to film I mean is that it's so easy and simple so I mean I can't really mess this up all right so we're gonna blend that Clean it 
out because I don't think the camera can see it. <laughs> okay. I don't want to crush it too much, not into like a powder because then you kind of miss you don't really get the texture, but if you just want the taste of Durham Cracker, you can crush it a lot, um, a lot more, but, but that's, a good, that's pretty good consistency. So now we're going, I'm going to just put the rest of this in there. a while to get up this morning because it was so cold and cozy and I didn't feel well and it was like you know you're killing me you're killing me with this cold weather and having a cold it's like no thank you I don't want to come get up today Don't worry, nobody else is eating these cookies but me because no one else in this family likes this likes it. So not that it's bad. It's just they don't they don't prefer s'mores. But I seem to have an obsession with s'mores. So I don't know if you've ever had the Edie's uh, cookies and, or Edie's s'mores ice cream. They only come out with it certain parts of the year, but it is the best ice cream that exists. I mean. My brother, my younger brother, he actually one year made me from scratch a s'mores ice cream, uh, him and his girlfriend, and it was so close to the 80s ice cream. You know, I mean, I can't, I feel bad asking him to make it for me every year, but you know, it was, it was delicious. So I just added the marshmallows. golf size balls and put them on a baking sheet or you can line them with a baking paper or parchment paper or just use a um, non-stick pan and that's what I'm using today just a non-stick pan it's big enough that it holds them. I don't need the other stuff or you can use um, an ice cream scoop but like my ice cream scoop is huge so and I made the mistake of scooping with another mix that I made, um, scooping with this and the cookies were humongous and they didn't cook well. So, I mean, they weren't as doughy and fluffy and perfectly cooked. They were, it just took longer to cook and then they were crunchier and I want them doughy and squishy. So, um, I can still use this to help get it, get it on, but just, I wouldn't scoop as much if you have a big scoop like me. If you're gonna eat ice cream, you're gonna need a big scoop. I don't know why they would sell smaller scoops. So, here we go. It's time to get scooping. Let's go. So now it's time to put these bad boys in the oven and you're going to bake it at 350 degrees or 180 degrees Celsius um, for about 10 to 12 minutes. I'm putting my oven at 375 only because um, my oven is broken and it doesn't cook through so I have to put it at a higher temperature for it to cook like 350. But um, 
but if you have a really good oven and a normal oven to 350 at for 10 to 12 minutes okay that's all. delicious and I'm ready to dig in. Before I do though I wanted to mention that um oh, look at this look at that just the marshmallow the goodness mm. um while I'm eating this I was gonna say they have you can pretty much make you know any kind of cookie with cake mix and it just makes it a little bit more it does taste different than a typical cookie. So if you're in, like, if you like the cookie taste of like traditional cookie, it might not be for you because it does add that kind of cakey kind of taste and texture and flavoring. So, um, but you can make so many different things. You can make peanut butter cookies with yellow cake mix. Um, you can make, I made chocolate chip cookies once with, um, yeah, yellow cake mix again, which the neighborhood boys were over playing with Caleb, my nephew, who he's five and his friends are, I think, like six and eight, um, around that age range. And they all came over and had cookies and they loved them. So I know it's kid approved. Um, and then you can also make funfetti cakes or birthday cake mix with the yellow cake mix. Um, add some sprinkles in there or white chocolate chips. Those are really yummy. Um, and then there's a bunch, but I'll leave some down below, some some suggestions and recommendations because, um, and I'll also link some of the area, the places where I got the recipes from, but I basically just went on Pinterest and was looking for cake mix cookies and you can find tons. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I wish you could join me in eating these, but just make your own and then I'll imagine you eating them and enjoying every bite. All right, have a good day.